Hi everyone, it's Tracy and um, this is the look that I'm doing for you today. Now if during the tutorial you notice that I'm a little bit crooked, I'm so sorry. I just realized that at the end of the video that um, my tripod was a little bit off kilter there. But I wanted to do tutorial one doing this look here because it was requested and it was requested a long time ago. And I'm so sorry that I'm just now getting to it. Um, but it was the look that I had in one of my other videos. I can't remember. But um, what was it? Um, I don't remember, but it was a look that I did in another video. I'll put that video down below. Um, also, I wanted to do a tutorial using the Real Techniques brushes, and so I used these brushes today. Um, this is from the Real Techniques line. Um, I just did a review on it and had a giveaway on it, so I wanted to incorporate those brushes into a tutorial. And so here it is, if you guys want to see how to get this look. Okay, so I've already applied a base to my eyelid, and I'm using the Jordana... Um, eye primer in 01 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a cream base as well to intensify the colors a little bit and I'm using Hard Candy's um, Hot Smudge Pot and this is in brass knuckles. I'm going to use that bronze color right there. You've seen me use this before in a couple other tutorials. I just really really like this color um, especially when it comes to using like bronze shades or coppers and golds. It's just very very pretty on the eyelid. So just take a little bit of that or whatever you have. If you have um, another, you know, kind of bronzy cream shadow, you're welcome to use that. Or um, you can completely skip this stuff. Then I'm going to take Rockin' Republic's Saturate. And it looks like this. It's just a gold color. Just a very pretty gold. Um, so any gold color that you have will work just fine. And I'm going to take a shadow brush. This is the Real Techniques, um, what is it called? It's the Base Shadow Brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip my brush in there and then apply that all over my lid. Oh, what I forgot to say in the beginning was to save time I already applied um, my foundation onto my skin and I'm using, um, I used Everyday Minerals Base. Um, this is the original glow base in the color tan because that's the color that I am. So there it is right there. Now back to the shadow. Okay, now using the same brush, I just kind of wiped it off on a paper towel. I'm going to take, um, this is again a Rockin' Republic shadow. This is an Ambition, and this is actually one of my favorite colors um, from the entire Rockin' Republic collection. It, it looks kind of like um, white in the pan, but when you put it on your skin, there's kind of a gold iridescence to it, which I really like. I have a scratch right there, so just ignore that. That's from moving, I think. Um, so the same brush and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that and I'm going to use it as a highlight and also in my inner tear duct. So just popping it under my brow. And then I'm also going to apply it um, on the inner corner of my eye to draw in a little bit of light there. And they, the, the colors really do blend in really nicely with each other. so. They go very well. Okay, now I'm going to take the Deluxe Crease Brush. It looks like this. It's a very dense, um, fluffy brush. This brush is also great for applying concealer, but today I'm going to use it um, to put some color into my crease. And this is Rockin' Republic's Adrenaline. It looks like this. It's a coppery color, coppery bronze kind of color. So I'm going to grab a little bit onto my brush. Now these colors are pretty pigmented, so you don't want to start off with a ton. Um, any copper that you have will do, but if you do happen to have this one, I'm just, or any Rockin' Republic shadow for that matter, they're pretty pigmented, so you got to be careful when you're working with them. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pop it into my crease and blend out the edge of that gold. And it's also going to transition from the gold up to that um, almost lighter gold. Don't worry if it's not blended all the way. This brush is not the best at blending, but it's fantastic at depositing the color down. So don't worry about um, if it isn't quite blended all the way, because we're going to go in with a fluffier brush um, to do all the blending work. So don't worry about that right now. Just make sure that you deposit enough color um, in that crease that, so that the color can act. Okay, now going with a fluffy color. brush, I'm going to use this one right here. Uh, there's no color on this. I'm just going to sort of go back and forth and make sure that everything is all blended. 
I'm now going to go in with a matte brown color and I'm trying to get it out of my palette, but I can't. It's from the Wet n Wild, uh, I think, Vanity Palette. So it's just a dark matte brown right there. Any matte brown you have will do. And I'm going to take a crease brush. This is the um, crease brush by Urban Decay. Grab a little bit of that matte brown and then just pop it on the outer corner to add a little bit more dimension. Okay, now I'm using a matte brown um, on the outer V of my eye just because there's so much shimmer with the gold and the copper and there's just a ton of shimmer going on so I want to kind of mattify or use a matte shadow to kind of counteract all that shimmer. Um, and you just want to put it outside on the outer corner of your eye just, just as a subtle hint of dark brown and also to increase the dimension of your eye. So you don't want to make it super doopy, ugh, super doopy? So you don't want to make it super duper smoked out, but you're welcome to um, if you want to. I just kind of wanted to add just a hint of matte brown out there and again to define my eye a little bit more. Okay, so then the next step um, is to line your eye. I'm going to line my upper lash line first. Um, and I'm using Milani's Liquify. And the reason why I'm doing the upper lash line first is because this um, pencil, although I love it to death, it really does need a little bit time, a little bit of time to set. Um, so just press it into your lashes really, really well, and try not to blink as much with that eye because it really does have to set. So what I'm doing is I'm just tight lining the upper lash line, so you can already see the difference with that being tight lined and that not being tight lined. And tight lining is just when I'm gonna go right into those lashes and apply that black liner right in there. So it almost looks like invisible, sorry, that was my, that was my flat iron. Okay, so it almost looks like invisible ooh, liner. Um, you see, I got a little bit right there, which is okay, because I'm gonna apply some false lashes, so that'll cover that up. So since I got some um, liner up on top there, I'm just gonna, take an angled brush, this is an angled brush, and I'm just going to smudge that um, into the lashes. It's all right, I'm gonna do it to the other eye too, so it doesn't really matter. Um, again, because I'm going to be using false lashes. So, if, since I didn't mess up on this eye, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this pencil, put it onto my brush, and then again, just smudge it into my lashes, making them thicker. So while that is setting up there, I'm now going to go in and do the bottom part of my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fun little smudge brush. It looks like this. So it's just very short, bristled, and kind of dense. I'm going to go in with Ambition. Why am I showing you the back? I'm going to go in with Ambition. Um, just a little bit on that brush, and I'm just going to pop it on the inner part. So as you can see, it's actually, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but um, the eyeliner is actually transferring onto my waterline, which is okay, because I'm going to line it with black liner anyway. But um, that's what I'm saying, you really have to let it set, because otherwise, if it doesn't set, um, it'll kind of go everywhere. So you have to be really, really careful when you're using that particular liner. Now I'm going in with, um, what, am I, what is this? I'm going with Adrenaline and doing the middle part of my eye. This is that copper color that we used. Then I'm gonna take that matte brown and do the outer part. And you just wanna make sure that it's all well blended. So I used um, the lighter gold color on the inside. Um, in the middle part there, I used the copper color and on the outer part, I used that matte brown. Now I'm gonna go back in with my Liquify any black lining pencil will do. This one happens to be my favorite. And I'm going to line my waterline. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just gonna take a little bit of mascara, um, apply it onto my lashes. Uh, and you can leave it just like this if you want to. You're welcome to wing out the liner. If I wasn't wearing false lashes, again, that's probably what I would do. But I was wearing false lashes, so I'm gonna go pop those on and I'll be right back. Okay, so the glue is still drying, so you might see a little bit of white, and I forgot to show you which lashes I'm using, but I have an old pair of the same um, lashes, and the, these are what they look like. So they're like crisscrossed. What is them? Oh, that's a swatch. So they're crisscrossed like this. 
Um, this one's an old mangled pair that I need to throw out. So, um, but I did want to show you kind of what I used. And I also did my eyebrows while I was waiting for the glue to dry. But that's pretty much it for the eyes, so it's not too difficult at all. Uh, I think the lashes really make the eye look more dramatic and more complicated than it really is. So you can um, do with or without the lashes. It's completely up to you. You can smoke it out and make it darker. Um, you can wing out the eyeliner. Again, this is your world. <laughs> you can do whatever it is you want to do. I'm just showing you how I did the look. Um, okay, now for blush. I don't remember what I used for blush in that video, but um, for right now, I'm going to be using Rock and Republic's. I'm using quite a bit of Rock and Republic. Um, I'm going to use Rock and Republic's Immoral, which is an orange blush, and it's my favorite, and one of my favorite summer blushes I'm go in, in general. With a Real Techniques blush brush. As you can see, I've used it already. Um, I use it with the same color, so it just looks more pink than what it is. So pop that onto your cheeks. I just find that this gives you just, um, especially on tan sand, it just gives you like a warm glow. I love, love, love orange blush in the summertime. I love it in the wintertime too. I just, I use a deeper color orange for the winter. Here, wait. I hope you can see that. I'll try to pack on a little bit more color so that you can see kind of the effect. I don't know if you will, um, but it's quite pigmented. In real life so just be careful um, again I love this blush brush I just feel like it makes applying blush so easy um, yeah you kind of don't have to think about it you just pop it on and it just does all of the shearing out for you and it goes in the exact spot where you need to put the blush and it's like just the right size um, I just love this blush brush okay for lips I'm going to pop on a nude, and this is, they don't sell this anymore, but this is um, CoverGirl's Nude Shine. Pop this on. Any nude will do. And on top of that, I'm going to be using NYX's Lip Gloss in Apricot. And that's it. That's it for the bronze, um, you know, bronze, gold, brown sort of look that I did in that video. Um, if you guys have any questions about the products that I used in this video or about the application or the brushes or anything like that, then please feel free to leave a comment down below or send me a message on YouTube. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.